Certainly a much better picture, profit of 30.4 cents. Talk to us about a turnaround strategy if indeed you had one. I think, uh, yes, it's a turnaround strategy on our distributorship business. Uh, they were severely impacted by the contraction in the commodities market and the construction market. Mm -hmm. We have not seen an improvement in these markets, but the turnaround comes as a result of the right sizing of those businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, we have cut out costs, we've reduced stock in those businesses, uh, and uh, we are now ready uh, for a, a turnaround in the market. Uh, the other divisions performed uh, very well and right. uh, our mining division, uh, the contract mining business, uh, that was impacted through the Vele project that was delayed through the regulatory license that was removed there. That did impact our earnings negatively right. and uh, we're hoping that will ramp up uh, once Vele gets uh, an approval to go ahead. Right, let's talk about the improvements we've seen within the uh, construction and mining equipment distributorships. We, we did see ahead of the World Cup a boom and a lot of spending but right now there's a bit of a lull and with that lull is that going to have an impact on uh, the performance of this particular division no we have n we've uh, we have not restocked uh, after the, the boom uh, we've actually destocked and we are not sitting with any uh, new stock our uh, uh, benefit is coming out of uh, uptake in the mining business mm -hmm. uh, we are seeing improvement on the mining side we are seeing no improvement of equipment being sold to the construction industry and we don't have any stock uh, that we have to get rid of there. All right, obviously this speaks to also what's being done but just by way of reducing inventories and assets to the tune of about 13.5 percent. Talk to us about this exercise in load shedding. I think uh, the load shedding uh, on our asset base came particularly of a situation of overstocking on the uh, construction and mining equipment. Uh, we reached a high after the crash. We were sitting at 1.4 billion uh, equipment stock. That is down uh, now to uh, f uh, 500 million, uh, and all of that stock is new and is moving. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, got no further impairments uh, or any stock to get rid of. In terms of our leasing asset, when the crash happened, uh, we just contained business growth, uh, and uh, we held the business back uh, slightly uh, to be able to make sure that we got right. through uh, the credit crisis. We didn't want to ramp up new opportunities. Uh, in, in the middle of the crisis. All right, we also know that previously you've had impairments incurred from uh, issues around tax and how, to, how you've had to defer some of those taxes. In addition though now you've got uh, uh, the situation of interest-bearing debt and you've got a debt facility to help you manage that debt. Can you tell, talk to us a little bit more about those financials? I think uh, due to the losses on the distributorships uh, we did impair those deferred taxes uh, it's very clear now that the distributorships could well uh, be turning around and making money. In the event when the distributors show sustainable return in earnings, uh, we are, uh, we'll be able to reverse uh, the deferred tax impairment back to earnings. So they'll have a positive uh, out outlook. Right. Uh, in terms of our debt uh, situation, uh, there was uh, concern in the market. We did have a bullet payment in terms of our debt structure with the banks. Uh, a bullet payment was due to be paid in April 2013. Mm -hmm. Our uh, bank uh, packages have been restructured and we've uh, negotiated long-term debt uh, stretching out to 2016 and we don't anymore have right. a bullet payment uh, that is due in 2013. Uh, we have uh, got a neutral position on our interest rates. Uh, we've got very good packages from the respective banks. Uh, and I think it's uh, the, uh, bond, uh, the bank covenants uh, we have exceeded all our bank covenants. We've got a very healthy headroom above all our bank covenants. Very briefly, what will be cash generating elements of your business going forward? I think the cash generating our, our uh, industrial equipment, our passenger and commercial leasing and our contract mining business are very cash generative. Uh, and we also see the, Beng, uh, the Benga project uh, in uh, Mozambique will be kicking in. Uh, and that will be also a very cash generative project. All right, thank you so much for availing us your time. Walter Hill, the CEO of Equestras, talking to us about their headline earnings, a profit of 30.4 cents per share.